Awe Hawa, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and truth with this great gospel that's coming out of our Bible. That's coming out of our Bible. And um, one thing we already know about this great gospel, it's not for all Israel. It's not for all Israel. I'm going to start off with the book of Romans 11. And one, it says, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people. Yahweh forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Right there, it's letting you know who's God's people, the Israelites. The Israelites, descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? These other nations, the only way they're going to be part of this is if they're a speckled bird that's scattered amongst the other nations. The Israelite, a descendant of the Israelites scattered amongst the other nations, looking like the other nations. That's only, and if they got to be part of the elect, that's who the Lord is dealing with. I'm reading again in Romans 11 and 1. I say then, have the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh I cast away his people. Yahweh forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Yahweh have not cast away his people. You hear that? So you so-called, um, so-called small hatters over there in the land of our land, in the land of Israel. The most high have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not, what the scripture saith to Elias, how he hath maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Right? The Lord has a certain amount of men who's not going to bow down to Baal, who's not going to bow down to Satan, who's not going to take the mark of the beast, who's not going to fall victim to the society. But I'm reading again, even so, then at this present, even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election, according to what? The election of grace, and if by grace, then it's no more by works, no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more of grace. But if we of works, but if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. So it's not about, it's really not about work, but the, the Israelites who the elect going to put in work, they're going to fulfill their lot. They're going to do exactly what the Lord called them to do, is what's to preach his gospel, to wake up the elect. And um, verse 7, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, Right, Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. I'm gonna read that part again. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, it's a lot of our people they will not see this gospel. You gotta realize this truth was not given to all men, to them, to you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And that's why they stumble and they fall at the words of these scriptures, right? They become scoffers, right? They become, how can we say, they grow an abominable spirit. They despise the, the truth. They become haters of good things. This gospel, man. And the Lord is not dealing with that spirit. The Lord put a spirit on them to be unrighteous. The Lord is only looking for the chosen. And one thing we know about the, the elect, the chosen, they're going to continue. They're going to continue in this faith. Right? They're not going to let anybody take their crown, even themselves, from them. Right? Because you were set up to do this thing until the end. This is not just for a limited time. Scripture says, He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. This is first John, I'm gonna read two. In Nineteen it says, They went out from um from us. I'm gonna read that. They went out from us from us, but they were not of us. Man, it's a lot of men that fell out of this truth, right? They were in here for a certain amount of time, and after that they became unprofitable servants. What did the Lord say about unprofitable servants? Bear with me. Matthews 25 and 30. Matthew 25 and 30. For unto everyone that have shall he be given. Right? As a servant of the Lord, the Lord gave you these talents, right? The Lord gave you this truth. You were supposed to go out there and bring fruit. Right? For unto everyone that have shall he be given. I'm going to read again. For unto, for unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that have not shall be taken away even that which he have. Yeah, the Lord gave this truth. And you didn't do nothing with it, right? You chose to be um, neither hot nor cold, right? 
because you were neither hot nor cold, the Lord spewed your ass out, right? You became an unprofitable servant. I'm going to read it says, for unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance, but from him that have not shall be taken away, even that which he have. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, right? That's what's going to happen. Unprofitable servants going to be cast the fuck out, right? And a profitable servant is equivalent to a dog that can't bark, right? You got these dogs that can't bark, that can't give no warning into the people. They can't let the people know who they are, right? Because of them, a lot of the people going to fall. I'm read 1 John 2, 19 again. They went out from us, from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, all the men that fell out, right? It's the reason they fell out. They were not part of the elect. <laughs> they were not part of the elect. They went out from, from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Yeah, they're not of us. They of the world, right? That's why a lot of people, when they fall out, they go work back into the world, trying to find themselves, not knowing that there's no time left. There's no time left to find yourself in this society. This is a dying society. This is 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Amashiach, Yahushua Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, <laughs> right? And that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. We got to be on the same page, preaching the same gospel. And our we got the same mission, right? A crown of heaven, salvation, um, the elect being sealed, right? Resisting to, Resisting the devil. That's what this battle is all about, returning back to our Lord, our power. Nothing else, man. A lot of men, they don't want to do that because they're too fucking comfortable in this piece of shit-ass world. In this piece of, in this piece of shit-ass world that is unprofitable to the souls of a righteous man. Yeah, a righteous man will not be able to profit in this society. I'm going to read the book of Luke 9 and 62. Luke 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, right? You got into this truth. You went out, you started teaching, you started preaching. You started waking up men. And then what happened? The Lord took the spirit from you, right? That's why King David had that prayer. Moving up thy Holy Spirit. We supposed to be thinking in the same spirit. We supposed to be meditating off the same words. Once you come in this truth, you, you in this forever. This is this thing is forever, right? I'm reading Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow. And looking back, oh man, oh, this, uh, I can't do this no more. This is this is too much. This is stressful. This uh this like there's nah, come on, everybody hates me. Uh nobody wants uh I don't like this. Yeah, I became an enemy to the world. Yeah, this is what happens when you become when you become a servant of the Lord, you become an enemy to the world. Right? The love that you used to get from the people, now nah, that love disappears. They're looking at you funny, right? And guess what? A lot of you can't fucking take it. So you go back to these weak ass people in the world, and what happened? You become as them. And you're gonna receive the same judgment as them. Luke 9 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Nah. What the Lord gonna do? I'm going to go to the book of Matthew 7 and 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many marvelous works, many wonderful works, right? Yeah, we used to have the name of the Lord. We used to go out putting in work of the Lord, right? Because it talks about if you remove your hand from the plow, none of your works will be remembered. You got to continue to the end. All your works that you ever put in for the Lord will be forgotten. I'll read again. It says, many will say in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Nigga, I don't know you. Who the fuck is this character? Who is this guy? That's what the Lord going to say. When, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Get out of here. 
Therefore, whosoever hear of these sayings of mine and do of them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon my upon a rock. Yeah, because the Lord's not dealing with everybody, man. Yeah, but to the but to the men who continue in the faith, who continue till the coming of the Lord, what the Lord say, Matthew 25 and 23, his Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Yeah, that's that's what you get for continuing the faith, man. You get salvation and you get to enter into the joy of your of the Lord.